Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna to be putting together Jasmine from Aladdin and it's gonna be 61 inches full of Cricut tips. Uh, this tutorial is crazy. I've been putting it off for two days because it's just so big. So I'm 62 inches, Jasmine's gonna be 61 inches and um, I gotta say, this is a beast of a project. It's just in so many pieces you can see behind me. <laughs> Um, normally one of these off the mat projects is on one one sheet like the projects on here um, I usually do 30 inches everything's laid out um, right now oh, she's in this is the fifth board so that's just how big <laughs> and so many pieces so what I'm going to show you is really just from up here to the top of her head we're going to piece it together and I'm going to kind of just go through almost all of it except for the foam and then I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll do it piece by piece so I do think though I mean watch this video if you plan on doing something really big so you can understand whether or not you really want to tackle it so um, I would say looking normally when I piece something together um, like just on the floor to make sure that I have all my pieces um, are the colors right before I piece it together, right? And normally just from that, it looks so good. I can take a picture and people will think that I've assembled it. And I always put that this is straight off the mat because I feel like a lot of the imperfections can be turned into perfections um, once I tape it up and I have um, you know time to assemble it and make it better. Um, but this one, I gotta admit, did not look so good right on the floor. <laughs> it was just, yeah. So I would say though, this Jasmine as one of those toddler sizes back there, those are four feet high and that's sizable. Like if I go back here, I mean Mulan, Cinderella and Snow White, those are sizable. Cinderella, this is 24 inches and look, I mean, she's, you know, like she she's a good size and next to kids and for the cake table and all that good stuff it's wonderful um so i'm gonna say that you guys can let me know i feel like i bombed this project like there isn't a good reason for her to be 61 inches other than i wanted to see if i could do it um i thought it would look good i mean we don't know yet but i have a bad feeling <laughs> so okay so i'm gonna show you how to do it i'm gonna flip the camera angle and okay and you just saw like my crazy gray hair i have yet to go do that <laughs> okay so let's um see if i can zoom in a little bit all right so that means I'm gonna move this out for just a second. Sorry, this is just, it's so crazy because it's so big. Okay, so her face alone is four pieces of black cardstock. So if you, if this is not your first off the mat with me and really honestly, I am just laying it out for you. This should not be your first off the mat video with me because <laughs> this will turn you off. So, um, only do this after you've you know done one or two. So this is her head, and I'm trying to see if you can even see it. First thing is, so this is right side up. I would put her face down like so, so you can see what she looks like, right? So what we wanna do is flip everything over because we're gonna tape it from the back, okay? And I would just use regular scotch tape. And what you wanna do is you wanna hold one side up, push it against the other side, and tape it as well as you can. Like you wanna make sure that there's no seams or it's as seamless as can be, okay? Um, okay, so there we have that. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna get it in enough places, knowing that we're gonna be putting the colors on top. This back portion is eventually gonna be glued down to a foam board. That's how all my pieces in the back there stand propped up by themselves so um, you definitely want that because you, you, your customers are going to put it um, usually at the cake table um, for pictures and stuff like that so you want it to be able to stand up and be steady and and sturdy so okay so you see how I'm pushing this against this one 
and then you want to hold it down. Oh, and I just taped it to myself. Okay. That was not the best example. <laughs> All that wasted tape. Okay, but what you want to do though, because this is the edge, right? Normally, this is really important. You want to tape this down. The reason why I say normally is because I did cut out her hair separately in black glitter cardstock. So it won't be as important because the black glitter cardstock is going to sit on top of this. So I just knew that the seams were going to be distracting. I tried to make it with the least amount of seams being uh, 61 inches, okay? All right. And also the other reason why you don't want to do it at 61 inches, there are so many pieces that design space was super glitchy for me. <laughs> if you followed the um, video for that, oh my God, I just about cried at the end when I lost everything. It didn't appear again that night. The next day I logged in to redo everything that I had already done for you guys, and then it popped up, but it only popped up partially. So I still had to redo a lot of a lot of steps over and over to the point where I erased everything and only did the black background, so this piece. And then I erased everything and only did her hair. And that's so just things to consider, especially like if you're actually selling it and you're on a deadline, this is not where you want to be um, trying to get it to work, right? All right, so here is one of my favorite tips for off the mat. So you can see right here, this is a big, you know, four, four seams right here on the face, right? Um, probably, I think her face goes like this. So the seam would have gone through her eyes and through her mouth. So while we had lips and teeth and eyes to cover it, um, you would still see a little seam because it's the black is still um, showing through. Um, so what I like to do is I like to make a copy of the face and then cut out a piece of black. So you contour everything so that the eyes get covered and you have a solid piece here, okay? So I'm just gonna take this off for a second and these out here. So what you wanna do with this one is you wanna do, I like using double-sided tape to get down all the pieces, um, to get down the, the majority of it. And then in some places, like the tip right here, and maybe right here and right here, I would like to run it with like the Tombow glue tape or something like that, which I just realized I don't even have out on my table. So I'm gonna grab that right now. So you see where I'm putting the tape. Um, give me just one second to grab. This is my, oh no, oh here it is. This is one of my favorites. It's the Tombow Permanent Adhesive One. And then once you run out, you just buy the replacement. This comes out and you just snap it in. Okay, so the other thing that I like to do is when I'm cutting regular cardstock, I save the big pieces like this piece. I don't save it to use again because it would just take up so much room, but I like to use it so that um, I scratch paper. So I can do this and all that glue comes out this way. You just wanna get down the edges that might uh, flip flop a little bit. So now the other tip that I have on this, which was a really, to me is a really good one. <laughs> this face, I have it written down, give me a second. This face was 11.838 by 11.2. So technically, and I used 12 by 12 cardstock for this. Um, that means that you would not get to cut it on the Cricut, right? Because it's only 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So what I did was I said that I was gonna use a 12 by 24 mat and then um, you know, it never cuts at the top quarter inch or the top, the bottom quarter inch, right? So I just placed it, the paper down past the 12 inch mark, and then it cut perfectly. It cut all the way around. So that's one way of tricking it. It makes more sense if you look at my Instagram so you can see what I was doing. Um, but all right, so now this is in place. I don't know exactly how she how it goes, but let's put the eyes back in.
And you want to do this because you never want to start gluing things down before you know where they go. Because honestly, it, it just never, it doesn't work out. So, and even right now I'm looking at this, I'm like, I'm going to look at the camera, okay. Maybe more like that, okay. And then let's put this eye down. She has a headband running across. And this is where this is gonna help us a little bit. I cut out, so this isn't gonna fit on here because I don't have the rest of the black. But what I do have is this. So this is her hair in black glitter cardstock because as you can see here, you can see the seams here and here and here. Normally I use black cardstock as my background. The only time I use black glitter cardstock is when the hair is part of this. So Snow White, Jasmine, I'm trying to think, oh, Milan. Um, I did cut that out. So, okay, so let's see where this piece goes. Let's put down her hair first. Oh, jeez. All right. Let's try to piece the hair as best as we can so we know exactly where everything goes. Because that's going to give us... I know her face is a little tilted, so that will help us piece together this thing. Okay, so the next thing though is that the hair right here has a seam. Do you see how like when I put it together, you the black glitter cardstock is so good that you don't even notice the seam once you push it up against each other. It just disappears, right? But let's tape it together from the back to make sure that it's as it stays as seamless as possible because you want this to stay um, even like flat because when it moves is when you it catches some light and then you'll be able to see the seam so you want to tape that at the edge right there just to make sure and same thing over here and then i'm just going to tape it straight down Okay. So it's like that. Okay, perfect. All right, so now that we know that goes there, then the face, see how there's that cut, you know exactly where her face goes. Okay. So what I'm gonna do then is, what should go down first? I think the hair should go down first, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll continue on. Um, so this hair actually right here is another seam. So you can see the seam now, and as I push it up against the, this one, it looks pretty good, right? I mean, you can see it a little bit, but it's not really distracting. And then her face is so beautiful, it's seamless, so you're not going to notice that seam. But now that I realize that this is right here. I wanna flip this one over and tape this together from behind as well. So let's do that. Now when it comes to the hair, unless it's a straight part like right here. Oh, and uh, I'm celebrating my one year YouTube um, anniversary. So my little thing says like and subscribe, which is my, my daughter watches so much YouTube and um those are like trinity and madison and i don't even know all the ones that she watches but that's what they always say at the end and she tells me i need to say it <laughs> all right so again these two you want to just grab it like this and tape it what you don't want to do is what i just did have a little bit of an overhang of the tape because against the black and against most colors actually you'd be surprised at how much the um the scotch tape brings attention to it. So I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit and then tape it in. Okay, and then let's just grab this. All right, so now this is good. Let's take all this out and we can put this down. And what I would do with this is, I would, it's so big. I'm tempted to use glue but I didn't plug it in yet. Give me a second. All right, so let's, I normally don't like to use glue in these cases because um, sometimes it will change, it'll warp your paper a little bit. In this case, because it's black, 
and it's glitter cardstock, I would, I, I would do it. Um, but I want just a little bit. So let's use double-sided tape to get most of it down, but we'll just glue a little bit. Okay, so this is all good. We know this fits. There's, um, this is the right shape. Oh, the only thing, okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna put down a little tape. Ooh, and it moved on me. Hold on. Okay. Let me put this back. And that's partially why I wanted to get a little bit down before I, oh. And it would help if I turned on the, not just plugged it in, but turned it on. Um, okay, so that's going to be good. And then the face is going to go like this. Now, this piece right here, I did not, oh, I can't remember. I'm tempted to just take my scissors and cut that piece off right there because I have a feeling it's not supposed to be there. I had a really hard time isolating the hair, so that's why I left it in, knowing it would be easy to cut off like this. Okay. Okay, and then this goes like this. And then she has a little bit of a Hair piece there. And then this piece we're gonna deal with later in the second um, portion. But I would also, again, cut off these edges. I knew I was having a problem with those, but I did not, I was having such a problem with design space, I didn't even want to slice or do anything more in there. So I'm just gonna take this and kind of follow along the edges. Now remember, no one's gonna know what it's supposed to really look like except for us. So I'm gonna leave that because I don't remember what that looks like, but. It's gonna go like this. So this little part right here is regular black, it's the outline. Okay, so that's what that looks like. So. Now with the mouth. So we're almost done with this piece. Let me see, is that hot? Yeah, it's getting there. Here's the headband. And then what I would do is, this is one of my favorite tools. I'm going to grab it right now for you. It's the We Are Memory Keepers Quick Stick. And it really helps me put down like this round part of the eye. And the reason why I use it is because once I get that part down, then I know everything else looks good. And I feel like that looks pretty good right now. So, so this is the stick. This side is putty tacky like. So you're gonna grab it like this. And so it picks up, because I don't have really good nails for that. I'm going to use a glue dot. And I'm just going to grab it with my hands. I know my glue dot is bigger than the eye, so the little eye piece. All right, and then I'm going to put it back down. And then, okay, I'm just looking at the camera. Okay. Okay, so once that's down, then I can do the white piece right here. Okay. And you just wanna smooth it out so that any of the glue, the tape residue, isn't showing on the actual white piece and then you can lay it down. You, when you lay it down, you can put it down softly and it won't you know, stick and be so permanent just yet. 
So you can see I've been, you know, I can move it like this even though it's touching on the paper. All right, so that's good. Now I can lift this one up and get this down. And this is all on black glitter, I mean black, regular black cardstock, and so it's why I'm using this. If it's glitter on glitter, you have to use your glue gun, otherwise it's not gonna stick as well. And I thought it would be okay. I tested it out on my um, four foot princesses, and some pieces are kind of coming up, so just be aware if you're selling it. Glitter on glitter, you're gonna need to use your glue. And the only problem with that is like on really light colors, it may change to like, you You just gotta make sure you know your materials before you use the glue gun. Okay, so I wanna just double check this one and see if I can make this one look nicer. Yeah, that looks good, okay. So I'm gonna do this little guy first. I'm gonna hold everything down in place <laughs> as I move everything. Okay, that's all right. So here's my little piece. Let's get this again. All right, put it back on. And I'm just gonna put my finger down to hold these two pieces as I put this down. Okay, good. All right, so now I'm gonna do the white. Oh my gosh, I've been bending this. <laughs> um, here we go. Get this piece down. All right, so that looks good. Let's get the rest of this hair down, okay? So we're just going to, we're gonna pick the face up and get it out of the way for a second. We're gonna lift the hair up and just run it all along. Okay, so you saw I ran it along the outer edges and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just Go under and put a little bit here. And I can feel the heat, but it doesn't look like it changed my paper at all. All right, now on this girl though, let's do, okay, I think the mouth looks okay. So let's pick up her teeth. And again, just get this on. I was just about to use her neck as my scratch paper, so. <laughs> That's what happens when this, this is just too much. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay. needs to focus, come on. All right, here we go. I know it's a little blurry right now. Okay, let's do the top mouth, the top lip. It's supposed to be like this? No, it's definitely supposed to be like this, okay.
got so much noise going on, I apologize. Between the trash and my daughter. <laughs> okay, it's really hard when you're looking straight on and I don't know why it's not focusing. Ah. Okay, hopefully I'll focus in a second. All right, let's do the bottom lip. Um, normally when I'm doing the face, what I will do is I put it on the poster board um, and I kind of move it away, like give it some distance so I can make sure that it looks okay. So, But I, luckily I have my camera so it gives me a little bit of perspective. Okay, so that's down. But what I mean is I would take it out like this and look at it to make sure that it's okay. All right, maybe I needed to do that for it to autofocus, but I feel like I don't like the mouth that much. Okay, <laughs> too late. All right, so let's put the face down. Now the face, and what I also like to do is, give me a second. If you guys don't have a brayer, I love the brayer. It really gets things down. So I just wanna make sure her eyes are down. All right. Just be careful when you're doing the face because the face, oh, what is that? Is that my cat? Okay. Um, the face is usually like a very light color cardstock. I just don't want you to run that brayer over and then get like a little mark on it or something. All right, so now the face, um, remember we have the black layer right here. So we could actually use the glue gun to make sure it stays in place and glue it down. So I'm gonna do that. I just wanna make sure it's totally in. I'm just worried that this is so big that I don't want any of the pieces to fall down. All right. And I also don't want to, I just don't want it to flop over on us. Okay. All right. She's in. I oh and let's get this little gold piece down and this because it's on black I would just do double-sided tape and get it make sure it's really um, down there okay so just so that you can see how big she is let's flip this around I mean, look how big her face is. <laughs> but she's beautiful, right? Okay, so this is the start. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna keep adding them. Um, and at the end, we'll put it all together. But you can kind of get a feel for how we, you know, how I spaced it out. You gotta make sure that everything is in, in alignment before you tape it down permanently. Um, but this is gonna be the same as all the other pieces. And then at the end, I'll do the foam board. But like I said, this should not be your first off the mat video with me. So you can catch any of the other characters where I do the foam board. This foam board, I'm gonna probably have to glue together. Um, I'm gonna glue two full foam boards together. Um, so that's gonna be 60 inches. Um, but that's it. That's enough. Even though she's 61, we don't need every inch of her to be on the foam board. Cause if six, you know, if one inch isn't there, I mean, this thing is gonna be so sturdy. All right. Catch you in a bit, all right? <laughs> Thanks, guys.